The 6.8 Western versus the 6.5 PRC. These are two newer hot rod cartridges that are making some splash in the big game hunting scene. Let's talk about it. Hello, friends and lovers. This is Dave Trillo, and you're listening to the Ammunition Guide podcast brought to you by none other than Ammo.com. Chris, today we're going to compare two Cadillac long range cartridges, the 6 point Western and the 6.5 PRC. And you were just telling me these things are almost pretty much apples to apples. It really is. One of the things that we get commented on most, and if you haven't done so, make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure you click that like and subscribe button. But a lot of people are saying like, oh, Chris, Dave, it's, this is apples to oranges. These cartridges are two completely different. Well, today I can promise you these are about as close to apples to apples as we can get on the podcast. So you are in for a treat. And if you need any apples or ammunition, Make sure you click that link down in the description and the pinned comment. Get your free $20 off coupon from here at ammo.com. And make sure you get loaded up on either of these before you go out and hit the woods. Like you said, Dave, these two cartridges are very similar. Overall length, almost exactly the same at 2.02 versus 2.03 inches. But based on their cartridge design, the 6.8 Western has a little bit more case capacity at 74 grains versus 62 for the 6.5 PRC, which makes a little bit of difference if you're looking at big game hunting. You were telling me that the 6.8 Western can just reach a little further, but whether you have enough skill to appreciate that difference in long range accuracy is a different matter altogether. It really is. It's one of those things where it's like just because you can shoot that far doesn't necessarily mean that you should shoot that far. You want to make sure that you can put that shot on a game animal where it needs to be. The last thing we want to do is prolong the suffering of any game animal. But both of these cartridges are very capable against large game. I know the 6.5 PRC gets a lot of bad rap for larger game animals, but I think some of that stems from the 6.5 Creedmoor, where a lot of people are trying to push that Creedmoor into bigger and bigger animals because everybody thinks the Creedmoor is just the greatest round ever made, whereas the 6.5 PRC has quite a bit more performance compared to its little brother, the Creedmoor. Yeah, it was based on the 300 Ruger Compact Magnum, mm -hmm. which is a round you're never going to see. No. And uh, it's, its bullet, as its name suggests, is uh, 0.264 inches in diameter, which yep. is certainly burly enough to get you know, the job done on uh, anything that goes by four legs in America. Yeah, and if you look at the bullet diameters for these two, I mean, 6.5 millimeters, 6.8, not that much difference. Now, you could say... Well, the 6.8 is bigger, it'll leave a bigger hole, and you are not incorrect. But most hunters are not going to be able to see the difference between these two. It's not going to make a huge difference in terminal ballistics. But in trajectory, it does make a little bit uh, because that 6.5 millimeter bullet, a little bit longer, sleeker design, has a little bit higher ballistic coefficient, not by much. But trajectory-wise, again, it's going to be a little bit better. The 6.5 PRC is going to have that flatter trajectory and be just that little bit more resistant to wind drift. Is the 6.5 PRC's bullet significantly uh, lighter than the 6.8 Westerns? So your typical 6.5 PRC bullets running around about 143 or so, maybe 150 in that grain range, whereas your 6.8 Western would be just a tad higher around 165 or 170 or 175. So we're talking maybe 20 grains difference between these two at the, you know, the shorter end, maybe about 40 grains difference at the, the higher end. And that will make a difference, especially in kinetic energy. The 6.8 Western is going to have more kinetic energy delivered onto the target. But again, uh, not a huge amount of difference between the two, to be honest with you, as far as terminal performance is concerned. Very, very remarkably the same. Same length. Uh, mm -hmm. Sammy calls for the same max pressure for either round. That's huge. 6.8 Western's larger case capacity, I think that's really what speaks to, to its ability to push a heavier bullet. Absolutely right, Dave. And that's also its ability to push back harder on your shoulder as well. Uh, Recoil-wise, the 6.8 Western is going to have about 30% more recoil than a 6.5 PRC, which is a big point, especially if you are recoil sensitive. Right around 30 pounds for the 6.8 Western, which is nothing to shake a stick at, and also right around 21 uh, foot-pounds of energy for the 6.5 PRC as far as free recoil is concerned. The 6.5 PRC makes a lot more sense. 
Yeah. Well, if you're recoil sensitive, neither one of these rifles is really uh, going to make you too too grinning ear to ear. But Definitely for the kind not. of shooting you're doing with them, I mean, this isn't a black, black, black kind of cartridge, either one. This is uh, bench rest, take your time, line up your shot. You should only be firing one of them during your hunt. Follow-up shots at this point really should not be needing to be taken. Now, of course, anything can happen on a hunt. A gust of wind can blow your shot off, and maybe you need to take that second shot. But as both of these are going to be coming out of a bolt-action rifle, I'm not seeing a whole lot of difference as far as being able to get back on target. Still, that 6.5 PRC is going to give you a little bit less uh, maybe trigger jerk, maybe a little less flinching. These two are very manageable as far as recoil is concerned with enough training at the range. Chris, I like how in, in the article, uh, <laughs> he doesn't recommend either of these for home defense. Yeah, I, I have to kind of agree with him on this one. These are not home defense rounds at all. These were purposely built as long range hunting cartridges. Now the 6.5 PRC was, I mean, more so looking at precision shooting, but has made a very nice hunting round as well. The 6.8 Western was built specifically for hunting, long range hunting in particular, and uh, home defense is pretty close range. You're going to be going through your whole house uh, with yeah. either of these unless you hit something really solid along the way. Neither of these rounds are rather what I would refer to as inexpensive. Right around the time of recording, which is uh, November 2022, we're looking at around three bucks a round uh, for some of these, and that is not cheap. No, not at all. Uh, but at least finding one of them is a lot easier thanks to uh, thanks to Hornady's efforts to kind of push it on other manufacturers. That's really true, and that is one of the things that really helps the 6.5 PRC. And if you didn't know, Hornady manufactured this round. It's one of their cartridges that they built, and Hornady is spectacular at marketing, which helps the popularity of the cartridge grow. Sadly, for the 6.8 Western, that's not quite quite the same. Pretty much you can get ammunition from Winchester and Browning and that's it. The 6.8 Western just doesn't have a lot of manufacturers for it right now and that includes rifles as well as ammunition. And that kind of leads us into my personal favorite thing which is reloading which if you're going to shoot either of these cartridges you kind of have priced yourself into reloading because if you really want to milk the potential out of either of these cartridges you really need precision hand loads to make sure that your ammo is really super consistent and is just tailored for your rifle to get all that accuracy you can out of it yeah agreed although we discourage hand loading because uh that means people buy less new ammunition from us that's fair but they still need to get their brass somewhere and good luck finding brass on the open market for either of these you'll find 6.5 prc more frequently but uh, six eight Western, you better be saving your brass from your factory ammo because it is not easy to find. Let's go ahead and wrap these things up. Uh, you know, I think that myself personally, if I had to pick one right now, if I'm like, I'm going to go buy a new rifle, it's going to be a 6.5 PRC. I love that 6.5 bullet. I feel like it's right in the sweet spot as far as getting really excellent, you know, high ballistic coefficient, uh, you know, ratings so that it has very good wind drift resistance, very aerodynamic. And the bullet availability is very high for the 6.5 right now. It's incredibly popular. And if you want factory ammo, it's a lot easier to find 6.5 PRC than it is 6.8 Western. That being said, if you're going out for a long range hunt and you want to have that extra power, maybe you feel like you need it, the 6.8 Western is an excellent choice if you're looking to take down elk or moose. Dave, what are your thoughts? What's your uh, preferred rifle cartridge here? Chris, I agree with you. Well, there, that has it, folks. <laughs> if I Dave flesh agrees. It out. You know, when the 6.8 Western was first announced, it was really exciting. It was just an exciting uh, announcement. I was like, mm -hmm. wow, this could really change things. And now a year later, I'm uh, fairly disappointed by just how, how rare it's remained. So for all of its relative advantages, however slight they must be, the simple fact that you're probably not going to be able to find it, uh, it's kind of the death knell for any cartridge. It'll be interesting to see which one of these is around in 20 years, but I have a strong feeling it's going to be the PRC. Me too. And if you need any of those, make sure, again, you get all your ammo here at ammo.com. If you haven't done so already, click that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you out on the range.